So when you're putting these cranks back on, this little cup thingy goes on first, like so. And then uh, these, when the window's all the way up, should be kind of forward and just up a little bit. I believe that's kind of the correct position. And you want them to match, you know, left and right. And then these things, I don't know if you can see that, um, you got to kind of get them in position. So that they're like ready to snap on like that. Now all I got to do is touch that or push it a little bit and it'll go pop. So let's see if it works. There. Ah, oh, come on. Really? Yeah, there. Now to get it off, this tool, you come in from the handle side and go, and it'll pop off. morning guys got my new instrument cluster here check it out this thing is gonna be hot I cleaned some of the gauges got some new ones got some new pieces new uh, shifty gear indicator this piece is new new electric connector um, this is called a printed circuit maybe uh, make sure all the lights were right one thing I had to do, um, the old dash, part of these, part of this plastic was cut and previous owner had put in different, a um, couple aftermarket gauges, I don't know why, but anyway they did, and some of these wires were, uh, were mixed. This is the connector that plugs into the back of the thing. So one thing I had to do was trace out which wires went to which circuits. Ended up writing on here, I don't know if you can see this, but what each connector does and by tracing the circuits. And I replaced all the light bulbs. So hopefully they all work now. So we'll see. One thing's for sure, it'll look way nicer. Look at this thing, oh, excellent, 
It's like Christmas morning. Bi-Tech Master Kit, fuel injection. Uh, installation instructions, stickers, more notes. What's this? Ooh, there's the throttle body. Hello. Oh, why are you harness on that bad boy? Dang. So this is supposed to be the second generation of their fuel management system where you can run the stock fuel pump coming off the side of the block.